not wizards. This is Teacher Mel, and let us explore the world of math. For today's lesson, paano nga ba natin kinukuha yung GCF or greatest common factor of two numbers? First, we write them, and then for us to have a better understanding, we use the factor 3. Gagamit tayo ng factor 3 para makuha nyo yung concept how do we get the GCF of a certain numbers. Next, we sulat muna natin si 12. Now, ano yung two numbers na when we multiply, the result is 12. In taking grade 8 math or any math subjects, I am requiring you to memorize by heart the multiplication table. Okay? So, what are the factors of 12? Or, ano yung two numbers na when we multiply, the result is 12? We have 6 times 2. How about 6? We have 3 times 2. So, mag-stop na tayo if it's already a prime number. Pero kapag composite number pa siya, maghahanapin natin yung kanyang uh, factors. Oops! How do we identify if it's a composite or a prime numbers? Kapag sinabi natin composite numbers, meron siyang more than two factors. Pag sinabi naman natin prime numbers, wala siyang ibang factor except for one and itself. So for 12, meron tayong 3, we have 2, and 2. So we have 3 times 2 times 2. The result of that is 12. Next, kunin naman natin ang factor 3 ng 16. So, yung two numbers na when we multiply them, the result is 16 ay 8 times 2. Factors ng 8, 4 times 2. Factors ng 4, 2 times 2. So, ano na yung mga prime numbers? We have 2, 2, 2, and 2. So, we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Anong factors ang meron kay 12 at the same time makikita mo din kay 16? So, we have 2. And, meron pang isang 2. Ang GCF natin ay 2 times 2. Which is 4. Ang GCF natin ay 4. The greatest common factor of 12 and 16 is 4. Thank you everyone. If you have any question, you can comment below in the comment section. I'm happy to answer any questions. Once again, this is Tisher Mel.